Okay, what's up everybody, and it's been a long time coming, but I just recently got back into 2K. So today we're going to do a little something called Technique Thursdays, where I teach you one or two techniques, or in this case, one technique using two different techniques, in order to help improve your game in 2K. And today we're going to do two things. Uh, first, learn how to animation cancel in 2K. And then second, I want to teach you the move wherein you combine dribble moves with your hop jumpers by using a animation cancel to blend those animation. So first, let's define what an animation cancel is. And, it's, and essentially, it's um, stopping an animation midway either to perform a different action. And in this case, that that's what we'll be doing. We'll be blending an animation into another animation to create a seamless motion within one basketball move. So what will that look like? So, for example, I have different dribble moves available to me. Let's say I have a snatch back. And then I can actually chain that snatch back into a hop jumper, either naturally without animation canceling. Let's say I do a snatch back into a hop jumper. Not that. There you go. For example, what I did was without animation canceling, I did a snatch back into a hop jumper. In this case, it's a step back. And I blended those two animations by waiting for one animation to play out and then executing the move. So in this case, a snatch back is done by um, doing a between the legs cross or a um, behind the back move. As you are moving one way, you snatch back the other way. So, for example, I'll let it play out first. As Luca dribbles to his right, I press the right analog stick from a 3 o'clock position to the center position to perform a between the legs snatch back, as so. And then from that snatch back, I can chain that into a hop jumper, which I do by tapping square and holding the left analog stick in any of the four basic directions. So I can do hop jumper to the left, a hop jumper to the right, a hop jumper stepping back, or a hop jumper stepping forward. So my goal is to combine any of my basic set of moves, and in this case, I'll be demonstrating a snatch back, not that, a snatch back into a hop jumper which is tapping square and holding the left analog stick to the left, to the right, up or down. But a wrinkle that I will add from your usual snatch back into a hop jumper It's not proof. Let me just get this down correct. Snatch back into a hop jumper. There, for example, is I want to cancel that animation and chain it into the hop jumper animation. So in this case, I will not wait for the snatch back animation to play out before I execute my hop jumper. And that will look like this. No, not like that. There. Let me break that down for you very quickly. So in this case, you can see clearly from Luca's animation, I initiated a snatch back. But instead of the ball going between Luca's legs and performing that snatch back step back, I do a hop jumper to the right so that instead of doing a snatch back dribble, I do one more dribble to the right and then launch into my jump shot. And how do I do that? First, I initiate the snatch back as I dribble to my right. I press the right analog stick. Um, from a 3 o'clock position, I tap it to the middle, basically a between the legs dribble move. And as at the peak, this is where I tap square and hold the left analog stick to the right. And it creates that hop jumper to the right. Now, it would be different if I let the snatch back animation play out. And then initiated the hop jumper. See, see the difference? In this case, 
I complete the snatch back, link that up to a hop jumper. At this point, I press, I, ta I uh, tap square and hold the left analog stick to the right and it creates a hop jumper through a crossover dribble move. Quite different from our animation cancel before, right? Again, we cancel the snatch back animation by tapping square and holding the left analog stick to the right. Uh, no, that actually... There. Quite different. So in this case, there you see I initiated the snatch back animation. And why I say it's a slide cancel, look at Lucas' movement here. I'm about ready to do the between the legs snatch back, but because I tap square at this point and hold the left analog stick to the right, look at how Lucas' body changes. That means you're blending into a different animation. And I blended into a hop jump shot. So basically that's using your knowledge of animations, reading how your defender will play you, and, and linking that into a different animation, which will set up your move. And you can do this using different dribble moves, not just a snatch back, see? As you can see there, it, the, the ball sort of warped, right? Uh, that's because you canceled the animation. And in this case, you're exploiting the video gaminess of 2K. See? The ball warped from his left hand to the right because he canceled that animation into a hop jumper. So not the most aesthetically pleasing move in terms of doing real basketball, but in terms of using 2K, as you can see here, I'm blending these dribble moves and it doesn't have to be just one. I'm blending these dribble moves into hop jumpers in order for you to break down your defender and execute some nice moves. And only the elite of the elite players can basically do these moves. Uh, you'd be struggling to do these moves with basically non-shot creators. So I suggest going into 2K, 2KU, playing around with what animations blend and how to cancel. See? You can see here, I do the Luca cha-cha-cha. I cancel the snatch back into a hop jumper. Travel or nah? Again, I cancel. You can also cancel the cross. No, not like that. You can uh, see, I canceled a a hesitation that's supposed to be a crossover a crossover hezi but i cancel it into a hop jumper to the left let's do a behind the back there that's not a animation cancel i let the animation play out but let's say i want to cancel that move i have to be quick nah, i don't think luca has that wait let me check there so blending animations from dribble moves there to your hop jumpers. Let's say you program your defender by fainting. Let's say you exploit the, the snatch back. And as soon as you do that snatch back animation, they overextend themselves to try to block the shot. You launch a different direction. Great way to create space and separation. And that's Technique Thursday. It's still Technically Thursday. So... Hope you try to uh, include this in your bag of moves. It takes a lot of practice to try to figure out the animations. And I'll see you in the next one.